We're broadcasting from b and Spring Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Leveland Burns snuck out of Leveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. But they were based in Leveland, Grim. I can completely understand the move. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Baltimore Razors. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. They said how I who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? The players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably crashed his pants. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance. And then on Sportsmanlike Play of the Day, brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive Through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. And it's first and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Third and two. First down and six. Second and eight to go. Oh, with a brutal hit. Third down and nine. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak. And it's good! You know, Grim, 
In this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Brex, I'm stopping it right there. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brex. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. It's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> first down and a mile. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! First and ten. Call that about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. My brawl off. Oh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Oh. And that'll be second down and four. lateral to his teammate we're talking street ball here bricks first down and this guy is a stud bricks and, oh my god a man from prison just came out of the field that's the ref you idiot let's see what the penalty is Second down and four. Third down and eight. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Briggs. This is gonna get ugly fast. And he's off to the races. First down and one. Shave a few days off his life. Second and three. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Grim. You're right. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. I'm going in circles. This one's a low pressure kick. As low pressure of a kick can be when the other team is encouraged to rip you limb from limb. He's got the distance and the kick is good. The home 
team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He's not going down. and attacks the ref. Teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. And that'll bring up second and one. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Second down and long. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. First and ten. First and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The 
player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Should be their bread and butter. Again, and that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense is down to their last running back. No risk for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Great run for a nine yard gain. Third down and nine. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Third down and a sliver. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? It's 
First and ten. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Whoa, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. <laughs> And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. down and ten. And he put first down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. Oh, man, he just... I know I said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> Well, that's two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, and that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing hunting. Boom! And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Must be the... Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this aspen. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. They weren't even on the same page on that play. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that is caught for a first down. 
The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tea show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. You some on your They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, with the brutal hit. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. First and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. in the past. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> First down and one. I personally think you can't keep a good mutant. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, the 20, the 10, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. point attempt it goes right through yeah like a double stop burrito from taco hell when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay First and ten. And that's another turnover. Oh, and that one's gonna. Bingo! Bingo! 
I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown. And if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know, I hate those zebra men. And this is a first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. What? He took a beast boost and man hit charge the ball. No, oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. Oh, I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? There's a funny red head on the field. No, that's their red penalty marker, Bricks. Looks like this one's coming back. The offense has only two linemen left on the offense and will need to play shorthanded the rest of the game. Short people, Grim. And at least they don't look down on people. First down and forever. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down and long. Oh, and the defense jumps outside to the tax the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down and two. First and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. But then anything really tastes good. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. He's running out of gas now. He's at the 10. Great shoestring tackle. The offense is down to their last running back. They lose him. They lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggernaut. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the 
Field quarterback shellac play. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the funeral expenses, that is. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance you had at that totally bone strip club last year, Grim? <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. <laughs> Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a break. And he breaks away. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that guy is dead. Good riddance. He killed me in my fantasy game last week. A murder on myself. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and ten. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Two, 
episode. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down in a mile. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. So here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures. That if that hip didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. He refuses to go to boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. The boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. You know, they say the first cut is the deepest, but damn, the rest were just as painful. Razors win by forfeit. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not heavy until you're not heavy.